I'm May. And I'm Jay. And this time we watched Atmon episode 12, Defeat Sakushimon with Super Applink. When you told me the name of this episode, we had just finished episode 11, and I thought that it was the name of episode 11, and I said, well, that didn't work out. Whereas if I had been paying attention, I would be, oh, well, that's a spoiler. Yep, so it happens. But to someone who doesn't know exactly what a super applink was, it could just mean that's the applink when you form a gatai, like a a, a, a new atmon instead of just a purasu atmon. So I, I guess it was kind of like a not a full spoiler, like well, without it's actually applings. Yeah, but without actually knowing, you don't mm-hmm. actually think. And I didn't think if that was a spoiler mm-hmm. until I actually saw the episode, and I was like, oh no, that that's a that's a reference because. That's like how a super applerize is a, is different from a regular applerize. I would, I think, I would have picked it. I think if I had like, if I'd known it meant this episode, which meant that I knew that defeat Sakusimon wasn't like a this is the goal, but actually the thing that happens. Mm. In that case, I mean, okay, I mean, we do have synopsis and synopsis on the other thing, and I'm often wrong. So, but I'm also often right, which is surprising. You're about 50-50. Maybe 60-40. <clears throat> 60 being how much I'm wrong. Um, and maybe, I, I think I would have picked it, because Super Applink, that sounds too, it sounds too official, mm. right? When they say Mega Evolution, that's a thing. When they mm. say Ultimate Evolution, that's a thing. If they would say Super Evolution, I think that's, that's kind of a thing. Yeah. But they wouldn't, I don't think they would come out there and be like, yeah, hyper evolution to just describe someone who is energetic when they evolve. They mm. don't really do that. And we'll just move on to favorite bits. What were your favorite bits? Okay, okay. So there's a few which are which are pretty good, but my absolute absolute favorite was when um <clears throat> near the end of the near the end when Haru's giving his big main character speech and he finishes and everyone's like in awe. And Astra just does, like, he puts up the horns, with his face is so slack, like, oh, oh yeah. my god! It's so sweet when he, you know, he says, I, w- I will join you, and he just He doesn't up say anything. Suit. It's so He's just cute. like, I can't resist how awesome this is! Oh, it's so sweet. And I think I like Astra now. I feel like these two episodes made me like him more than his introduction episodes. And same with Eri. Eri was quite good in these episodes, too. I don't think I ever disliked them as people. I disliked when they talked. Yeah, so you dislike basically whenever they open their mouth, which is disliking That's the different. character. different. No, it was, it's fine. Because they can just change the things they say. Yeah, which they're what they're doing. They're, yeah. they're making references to their catchphrases, but they're not making them just spout the same catchphrase all the time. I forgot in episode 11, when they see the, the, the sea, and, and Gatchman's like, we need to go into the sea. And Astra and Mizuma are like, will we? Won't we? Of course we won't. And they sit on the beach yeah. chairs, and then you're like, oh no, it's a filler episode. Yeah, th- that was when I was worried. But for this episode, it was... It, it was nice. I like the characters. I like all of them. And I can't actually pull that many favourite bits from this episode, but I liked it. I like how we had the... the super Applink was great. Yeah, oh no, that was that was pretty cool. And I liked how Ray said, basically, oh, we can join forces, but he didn't fully face turn. He still said, I am, you know, I'm, no, he I'm did. fine alone. No, he, he a... gave him the seven codes. No, he didn't join them, but he became a good guy. I'm glad that he didn't join them, though, because it's kind of nice not to have that, you know... That quick snap, I'm a good guy now. Yeah, which... he's not rookie. Oh, no. That was that she was. She joined slow. them immediately. No, it was a, it was still a slow... No, it slow. no. It was slow for her to turn completely, Ken but... Ken joined immediately. Oh, my God, did he? Ken... But that's fair, yeah, because... Got... Okay, Ken got kidnapped by Davis. Ken had his evil switch turned off. Hmm. That's fair. Tailmon joined quickly. Oh, my God, did she? She just said, oh, I'm good? Okay, she, I'll hug you now. She was 50-50, and then, and then she was the same thing forever. Yeah. Um... So I just want to go on a slight recap of what happened. Is they're about to they're about to fight Ray because of the end of the last episode. But instead, Haru says, "But what if we talked instead?" Then he goes, "No, I want all of your appling Atmon chips." And then Haru goes, "But but what if we talked it out instead?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's great." And that's how they found out about um his little brother and how he got kidnapped. And the, look, the backstory was pretty convoluted, and I guess we'll I'll re- repeat that in the negatives, but. He did have a backstory. It was fine. Um, and so that sort of set him on his path now. Uh, as I said in the last episode, it was very clear that while they are their goals are aligned in defeating Leviathan, he 
thinks that he would be the best suited to beat Leviathan. Mm. So the best assistance these guys can give him is by submitting all of their strengths to him, mm. which I thought was really interesting. I'm pretty intrigued by what Sakushimon meant when he said, Ray is your enemy. I think they're just messing with him. <laughs> I, I feel like there may be something there, and I hope there's something there. Like, I know, I would like this questionable, is he good, is he bad character. Well, Sakushimon doesn't seem like the type to tell the truth, honestly. Oh no, I love I love Sakushimon, and I'm I'm also if another favorite bit is I'm glad they didn't get the chip of Sakushimon because I feel mm. like that would have been really overpowered to just have that almost basically unbeatable guy that they had they struggled with, and I feel like if they had him on the, on the team, they would be able to beat the other Leviathan. Well, this Sakushimon doesn't split into two. Yeah, well, we we saw that when Dogachmon and Ragemon separated from their Pudasu link. They that they each became their super chips, which oh. I swear that that Haru already had one, but I guess I'm no, wrong. he had it. It wasn't activated yet. Oh, now he activated. And that's right. how it activated. That was what mm. had happened. It was oh, okay. I oh, no, missed that. Now he can now he can super aptly arrive, and it'll come out at like twelve thousand instead of seven thousand five hundred. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't. Need, they don't need to be in sync anymore either. Yeah. There's no threat of them ending up as poop. Um, one thing I really, I really liked that was very subtle was that Ray Dramon has their own personality. Yeah. Um, and Ray's, Ray's out there. He's going, I'm going to go, I'm going to beat you guys up and I'm going to do this thing. And they're like, what about Hajime? And Ray Dramon's like, oh yeah, yeah, this is what the, this is kind of what the deal is and starts talking. Yeah. Because he sees independently, this is probably the best way to go. Mm. Yeah, Ray, you're probably a bit emotionally clouded and, uh, I'm just going to take over from here. For some reason they remind me of Matt and Gabumon. That's because Raidramon looks like Metal Gururumon. Yeah. Also, Matt's a piece of crap, and so is Ray, kind of. No, I love Ray. Also, they both have, like, little brother complexes. Yeah. And know. for some reason, the little brother is inverted from the hair and eye color of Ray. Ray has, like, bluish black hair and brown eyes. And, and, and red eyes. And red, red brownie mm. red eyes. And Hajime has brownie red hair and these blue, blue, green. blue green eyes. And it's just... They kind it's of look close. inverted. It's it's I, it's something I noticed. I don't. It's not on purpose, but I just found it funny. It's also weird because the little kid has spiky hair, like this real short spiky hair. And they don't look related. Yeah, they don't look related at all. Maybe there's like maybe that one of them was adopted. Maybe they're both I don't know something. Maybe, maybe their parents divorced. Maybe they're just like they're not actually their step their step brothers or something. Maybe raised in a band. Maybe they're half brothers, but hack but, of day. But they're actually not half brothers. They're full brothers. Because Sorry, knife of hack. Knife of hack. Hack of knife. <laughs> well, knife. They, they did use the knife to hack, so... It's true. Hack knives are really popular nowadays. They use them in Titanfall. Oh. Um, and, I don't know, so... We, you you liked how Shikushimon started to try and kill Rei? Oh, I loved, I loved that, because... And, and I think I said this in episode... Ele- Apply episode 11. How often have we said, Hey, the... Ba- the Kids are right there. Kill the kids instead. They're the batteries for evolution. They're the batteries for power. Why can't you kill the kids? And it happens in this episode. And I really, really like that. Yeah, and then also the... <clears throat> the Oh, no, it was in the last episode, wasn't it? Shikushimon said, give me your app drives. I, we totally forgot to mention that. Yeah. Which is... which is clear. You know, no one's ever asked for... No one... The Digivice. No, no one ever said, give me your Digivices. Really. I think also because the Digivices hurt the evil Digimon when mm. they asked for them. In this case, they're like, no, no we'll, t- we'll take those. We'll just take away... And those are the batteries of evolution for real. Mm. There is no evidence, I think, thus far, because you're just putting chips in and out. Mm. There's no evidence that the child is unique. If you if you have the app drive and you have the watch, there's every possibility you, you just become that kid, essentially, from the perspective of the Atmon. Mm. No, definitely, yeah, because <clears throat> maybe the kids aren't necessarily that special. Well, because- maybe the relationship with the chips are like the buddy chip yeah because you take you can take other people's chips and you can use their their dudes yeah there's no there's nothing saying that you couldn't take Gatchamon and use Gatchamon no he took Raidramon and he used it yeah and it has no relationship with Raidramon so yeah just take the Appy drives and I feel like that was one of my favourite bits that the enemies you know one asked for the the battery the Digivice the Appy drive and also <laughs> Sakushimon basically almost killed Ray. can I ask you an interesting question sure can you app, can you realize uh, Do Gatchmon and Gatchmon at the same time? I don't know. They've never done it. Because there there are two guys and they're both activated chips. You could technically fuse them. Maybe I don't know. It's really it makes no sense. Well, you can with the toy. I have fused Do Gatchmon and Do Gatchmon and Do Gatchmon and Gatchmon. So, so if you have the separate chips, you should it, be able to. Well, you're able to in the toy. I'm not sure in the show. <laughs> and it's like three, two, one, Do 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 Gatchmon. <laughs> Yeah. Dogatchmon plus you. Dogatchmon. It, it's a really strong one, though. Equals Dododogatchmon. 
Like, I think one of the strongest ones that I've aptly rised with the aptly drive toy is uh, Doskumon. Prasu. Doskumon. Because <laughs> it's just, apparently that's the strongest one. Maybe it's, I haven't done Dogatchmon. Because it just gets fatter and bigger. Yep. This gets huge. Gets gets more punchy. Are we done with favorite bits? Yeah. The negatives, I think, are just like, Ray's... Ray doesn't act... <coughs> I, I, as much as I think it's cool that it makes sense that he would want to be alone, I still don't think he acts in his best interests. Mm. But, I mean, he's also a whiny emo kid, so he has to... He's a bit driven by that. That's mm. fine. Um, I also think that... It, 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 there was a big fight scene, which was cool. That's a favorite bit. Where with the swords, it was really cool. Yeah, and when when they combined with uh, Raidramon, Dokashmon gets the sword, which is Do- which is Raidramon's tail, the hack sword, mm. which is cool, and it has a big fight. But they still don't search for anything. They don't use the hacking ability. He just fought really hard. It was a cool scene, but it didn't it didn't have the edge that Apmon could have. And I'm going to be really upset if I just have to complain about this all the time from now on. Yeah, and again, it devolved to did evolved if you will to basically who can hit the hardest, who has the biggest sword. And that's what it was, and it was basically who's faster and who hits harder, rather than let's use our special unique abilities, 3, 2, 1. And I don't like that no one ever beat, sh- um, sh- God, what are they, Sakusimon. <laughs> no one ever beat her by beating her at the game. Like, they never did the, you don't have the scene, like, when they're fighting Scopemon, right? Yeah. By the way, his partner is definitely redhead kid. Eugene. Yeah, for sure. Like, there's no way it's anyone else. Mm. Um, oh, it could be Winston. Oh, what oh, if? Oh, you mean what Watson? if that was a twist? Watson. It was, it, I, I played too much Overwatch. Um, <laughs> it's Watson. What a what a twist. Mm. It's probably not Watson. I don't have that many negative bits. I like this episode. It wasn't as good as the last one, but I feel like I would have preferred if there was the, as you said, the unique. Atmon, you know, searching the special path, or maybe just beating them at the game. I would have really liked an episode where they were playing the game and using each Atmon as like a special strength in to beat the game. And the music finally... seems hard for that. Well, who cares about Musimon? No Musimon, no life. Here's the thing, actually. I just realised. Okay, you notice how all of the Atmon partners are color coded to their to their buddies? Yeah. Okay, so keep in mind, Watson is blue. Cameramon is blue, and Watson has the pictures of Airy. How did he get them? Oh, okay. Well, well, what if he has a manga. cameramon? That, that's in the manga, and I'm pretty sure that was because... No, he was... has them in the episode. He shows he shows oh, okay. on his phone. He has pictures of her. Oh, okay. And, but... I think in the manga it explains that he got them from someone else. Yeah. And... But it could have been that someone else's cameramon! No, someone else was, like, one of the... Stalkers. It, no, it was the social media... Um, yeah, Atmon. Cool. Atmon. Okay. I forgot what it was called. Um, and, but... That's why I thought Eugen was partnered with Nabimon, because they've got the same color. color. Coded. So that, that that was my theory very early on. I don't have any other negative bits. Yeah, I think we're at the end of that. Favorite character? Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I still think it's I still think it's Haru. He has a big speech about how he's the main character oh, yeah. now. It was so cute. It was so precious and it was so pure. That makes him responsible to go save Ray. They were gonna abandon him and let him die. Until Haru's like, maybe we shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, Eri and Astro were both like, yeah, who cares if he dies, right? He, he, was, a, he was a bit mean to us. I, I, I agree with you. Do you have any miscellaneous bits? Because I don't. <laughs> it's also really hot. <laughs> it's the bit where he throws up the horns and everything. Oh, yeah. Like, ah, yeah, I, again, that was a great part. <laughs> no, that was, again, a really cute bit. So as for the ranking for this episode, I'm ranking uh-huh. it. Shut up. Shut up. I love it, okay? Let me do this. I'm ranking this, ju- the next one under episode 11. What do you think about that? No? You, you, just, you just think it's stupid? You don't, you don't want to participate? Your ranking system is lame. I like it. I, I'm fine with my ranking system. So this is like the fifth best episode. But it's, so it's not terrible. It's better than the ones we had. And yeah, I I like my ranking. I'll go with it, all right? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. The Super Rackle Link stuff was cool. And like the backstory stuff was fine. And... It had enough. It just didn't have the stuff that I was I wanted. Yeah, I, I it made me happy. This, I like this episode. This ice cream didn't have chocolate fudge chunks, but that's what I'm looking for. So shut up. Yeah, but it was still all right. It still had the other flavors of ice cream that you like. It had caramel swirls, but doesn't have fudge chunks. The next episode of Applemon is called Christmas Has Vanished, Calendar Thief, Calendarmon. And I've read the premise, that seems pretty cool. It's Christmas Eve at the moment, so we're getting pretty Christmassy. So Christmas I'm pretty, gift. I'm pretty excited for the Christmas gift. You can contact us to stay updated. You can email us at lostintranslationmon at gmail.com. 
or you can comment on this episode or message us on SoundCloud. You can follow us at Translation on Twitter and on Vine, and you can also find us on Lost in Translation on Tumblr, Facebook, and YouTube. We have discussions that are with the will. We'd appreciate it if you were to review us on iTunes and on Stitcher. We could just totally copy in the last time I talked about this. Don't. And thank you to our Patreon supporters, Sam Krieger, who hosts a podcast called The Moncast, which talks about Pokemon and Digimon, Wu Chinglong, who, is Twitch, who you can find at twitch.tv forward slash Wu Chinglong, Melamamemon, Joe, Anime Guy, who you can find at Anime Guy Kurosaki, and the number one on YouTube, Chakmon, Ishbo Bamba, Hiro Alata, who is at Hiro Alata on Twitter, Jason Morosky, Frost Magic, who is at Frost Magic on Twitter, Stephen Reeves, who is at Wildwing64 on Twitter, Kaida Washi, Mac, Noam, Riku, Red and Garen from Breakfast with Digimon, which is another Digimon podcast, which you should check out, Chisai, who you can find at Chisai236 on Tumblr, and you should follow them today, Corey and Kyle. You can also make a one-off donation on PayPal, which will be found linked in the description. It's paypal.me slash airdramon. Make sure to let us know for the podcast. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.